enemy of the state. I call this one yoga flame. Yoga flame. Oh. So I'm thinking about asking my wife to marry me. Oh really? <laughs> well, I know more about marriage than all of you guys combined. Oh yeah? What? Yeah, I've been married five times. I got married first when I was 12. Sick. I know. And then I had two husbands after that. They're all pretty good. One, two, and three. Then I got married again. And then that husband kind of sucked. And then I divorced him. And then I got married again. And my fifth husband sucked too. Damn. Sucks. Yeah, I know. Anything else? Look at from to a game about the brains. Couldn't I move them just with brains? So I had to use some blame. Shout the Drizzy, shout the Wayne. Easy Jeezy, Ricky, 50 Rake, one low, so good you may. I'm not going to drop my name. Sneak that message through. Don't you think five husbands is a little promiscuous? Well, some would say that. But. I believe virginity is for the perfect. I myself choose to use the gifts God has given me as far as my body to use them how I wish and however I want and with whatever men I want. Well, God will be the final judge of you. Go. Why were your fourth and fifth husband so bad? Well, my fourth husband, he was more of the artsy type. I used to love to sing and dance with him. We used to dance the night away. But he was such a pushover. I would always mess with him. I knew he was too good of a man to cheat on me, but I would still badger him about him cheating on me, even though I knew it wasn't true. That's cold. That's cold. cold. I know it. I know it. Cold. In bed. In bed. Before he would reach full satisfaction, I would tell him he would have to pay me in order to reach that satisfaction. And every time he would pay me, he was such a weak man. He truly loved me, but I didn't love him. I whacked it. Baby boy with the glasses. He is like a black rap. So, what about your fifth husband? Well, my fifth husband was a different story. I truly loved him. I really did. I loved him. And, um, the thing is, is, um, I actually met him while I was married to my fourth husband. And after my fourth husband died, we uh, met up somewhere and we just hit it off, even though he was much younger than me. 20 years, in fact. Although, I felt with my lustful nature, I could deal with his youth. But um, as far as my fifth husband, even though I truly loved him, we got into heated arguments all the time. He would. You know, they would get violent at times, and I would leave, and I would threaten to leave him, and I would always come back. It's cool. I know. It's cool. I would always come back because he was fantastic in bed. That's really all I was in it for. Pretty, Pretty good in bed. But, um, it's good to go. by in bed I mean sex. <laughs> and, um, uh, so... One night, though, we got into a really terrible argument because I just felt like he disrespected women, and I found a book of his that spoke about a woman very poorly, and she had many of my characteristics, and I was very offended. I felt like he felt that way about me, and so we got into a heated argument, and I punched him in the face. And cool. after I punched him in the face, the argument escalated, and he ended up hitting me in the ear. 
<coughs> which is now, which is why I'm now deaf in my left ear. Poor thing. I can't hear. Poor thing. I, I didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> wow, that was a very interesting story. Thanks for wasting our time. Hey, shut up. She can talk about whatever she wants. And now I will tell my tale. I call this one yoga flame. Yoga flame. So now I will start my tale. In the days of King Arthur and the Isle of Britain, it was commonplace for the medicants and the friars to rape the young maidens. She's just not into you, partner. That's why she's calling me. She says she's sick of you, player. Here's where she wants to be. I've had it. Dang, girl, you looking good. Who are you? Real good. I don't even know you. You trying to get raped right now? No. Tired of you disturbing us, yeah. It's clear you lost the good thing, but now I'm the one she loves. Oh, uh, uh. After the knight unlawfully raped the young maiden, he was prosecuted in the king's court. This deed is unforgivable. There shall be no raping in my kingdom. Off with his head. But my king, this handsome knight does not deserve death for this crime. I agree with the queen. Then what do you propose, my lady? A task! He shall set out on a journey with one year's time to find out what women most desire. And if not, off with his head! So the knight started his quest, and he asked women across the land what they truly desired. But the answers were so various that he didn't get anywhere and never found anything out. One day, until one day on his way home, he came home to a bunch of women dancing and decided to ask them what it was that they truly wanted. When the knight finally approached the women, the only woman that was there was an old lady. What's wrong? Well, I raped a woman, and my punishment was I have to find out what women truly want. And I have a year to find that out, out or, uh, or else I will be decapitated. I may be able to help you, but you must devote yourself to me for the rest of your life. Okay. Like they put you over, I sit in the driver's seat, you sit on the sofa, I am- I found an answer to what women truly want. What is it? This old woman has taught me that women truly desire to be dominant over their husband and lovers. Yes! She is right! 500 points to Gryffindor. Now that you're allowed to spare, you have to follow through with your end, your end of the bargain. You must take my hand in marriage. No! Is there anything else I can do? No, there's not anything else you can do. You must take my hand in marriage. I don't want to. You have a choice. I'm not going to. <laughs> you don't have a choice? Okay, fine. I'm a man of my word. That's right. Like they put you over. I sit in the driver's seat. You sit on the sofa. Three. So after the old woman's proposal, the two were married. And one night they were laying in bed when the old woman asks, My dear, what's wrong? Well, first off, you're ugly and you're not of royalty. I may have been born of low class, but I can still marry into higher class. Okay, whatever. I'll give you a choice. You can either have me be old, but faithful and loyal, or young, stupid, and unfaithful. Well... Okay, baby, I'll let you decide, since that's what women truly want. Fine. I'll be young, beautiful, and faithful. And just like that, the old woman changed into a young, fair, loyal woman. And they, were, they lived happily ever after, and she stayed faithful to him. And now I plead that Christ grant all women, men who are lustful in bed, fresh, and young, and that he grant women the grace to outlive their husbands.
Please. Delete this part. Al? What? Are you recording right now? Oh, I got a good idea. Yes. You're recording right now? Yes. What good is that doing? You're just killing battery. <laughs> hey, it's hey, full battery, idea. Joey. Hey, Johnson. Johnson, stop! Wow, that was a very interesting story. Thanks for wasting it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a really interesting story. Thanks for wasting our time. <laughs> Tyler! Wow, that was a really interesting story. Thanks for wasting our time. We're due to get it. Dude, one more time. When the night. Let's go. I I'm gonna it's kick your. Second mistake. <laughs> you gotta talk louder, dude. Am I supposed to turn to the side or. Okay. Everybody yeah. shut up.